guys, today I'm Jia and today we are going to do, uh, we are going to make CPU on MS Paint. So from starting MS Paint to ending uh, with the work of CPU, we are going to learn everything. Let's start. Now here's okay, uh, here is the screen and now uh, I'm having Windows to turn on. So uh, go to this stat and scroll down to P. If you don't find uh, that P, then click outside on screen, go to search for anything right paint and you will get this icon click on uh, double click and you will get this now maximize it and let's start painting so in this uh, you uh, you will get paint brush uh, first let me tell you all the shortcuts and uh, So, now this, uh, this is way of moving, just let me show. Now, this thing is okay. I hope you can see this red dot. So over here, this is the uh, red paint icon, uh, which defines that it's paint. Uh, okay. Now this is known as file. If we click on this, you will get these options. Okay. The new option is to open new uh, document for opening. Uh, if I click on open, um, it will show a file like this. So in this, you will have your all your uh, pictures and all which can be opened in this. Now for save, if you had made a drawing and you are going to save this, you can click save. <laughs> And what is for save is save as is for that for for uh, in which uh, part of uh, document you are uh, you want to save it or uh, in downloads in documents or in images. So it's your choice. Uh, over here, if you go uh, on save as, you will see PNG pictures, JPEG uh, pictures, BMP pictures. GIF pictures and other formats. So you can click on anyone. Now, then you will have print if you want to have, uh, have saved that and you are uh, going to print. So you have to connect your laptop or um, your computer with the printer. Now, from scanner or camera, that is not available. Now, send an e email. So if you have email on your, um, if you have email opened in your all. Uh, mail or uh, open, so you can uh, send this as an email to anybody. Now, then we have set up desktop uh, background that is not possible. Over it. Then we have properties about paint and then exit for exit. Go ahead. So now next is home. In home, we have paste, cut, copy. This comes in clipboard, okay. This all comes in clipboard, okay. Now, then we have select crop resize rotate, okay. That comes in image, that all comes in image, okay. Then we have pencil, fill, uh, alphabets and uh, eraser and pick up color and magnify brushes and uh, we have line curve circle triangle uh, rectangle 
and the curved rectangle which have curved sides and then we have this thing and triangle and more on so uh, first this pencil and all this uh, thing comes in twos and all these line and this comes in shapes okay and there is the name outline and a fill so that also comes in shapes that uh, outline and this fill this all this is used in shapes not in this all tools and writing programs right now then we have size for size if you are writing something uh, or you are drawing something on this board so uh, on this board uh, so uh, if you want to change the size, you have very small, very thick and very thin. Oh, you are having much in this. So let me just show you. Now check out this. This is very thin. 1 px. This is 3 px. This is 5 px. And this is 8 px. The 3 px is uh, the auto one now here we have color one and color two in colors and we are having much of colors and we are having edit colors to add a, a new color and edit with paint really this comes in though um uh okay so just edit with paint 3d this comes in the computers which uh are having uh you know a three a paint three d this is not uh, actually coming in every of uh, you know so this paint three d is uh, not available in every computer now let's focus on color one if you are drawing with a pencil you are using color one okay if you are using a razor then you are using color two Okay, you can change the colors by clicking on it and then uh, with this color bars, uh, this color bars, you can click on black and all the yeah, many. Okay, so this is all explanation about. Hmm. Now we are going, uh, we are going to do you. Now in you, we have zoom in and zoom out, which is, which is also there in magnificent okay then we have 100 person that is auto okay then we have rulers guidelines and status bar show or hide uh, and then we have full screen so in full screen you will get uh, this if you want to just see your picture which you have made and from escape this just click on the topmost but uh topmost uh, left button that is no escape so now let's start making uh, cp so now we are having this rectangle and we are going to use it. now uh, let me show one thing i have made this rectangle then you can see this outline and fill color uh, they are not black and white. Okay. So this is the point. So, um, yeah, so, so now we had uh, made this all. We have made a rectangle now. If you are, if you want to place it in the center, and I have it in a bit of left, so you'll use the select tool and check regular section, rectangular section, select it and place it in the center. That's all. Then click outside this box which uh, had been. Made. Now, let's go through this line. Make a line in the center. Wait, that's all. 
select and transparent selection select it and done now let's go in red okay and take this pencil size thickest now make a dot Moment. 
first you will make a dot. So I am red dot. So dot red dot red. Now use the green color and make a green dot. <coughs> this much is done. Now use the rectangle tool and make this. And get that. Now Take the circle tool and take the red color. Make a circle. Take the fill. Fill it. Okay. Now, you are going to use this. And that. Now, go to select. Take rectangular selection. Make a rectangle. Let's make a rectangle. Okay. okay. Now, the path is selected. Just click on delete, which is at the right top. Okay. Now take the line color, line out, and make a line. In. Line. Now, with the pencil tool, just cover a bit of this portion, like her hair and her hair. Yeah, cut. Now, take the circle tool. A circle. Now, take the select tool and transparent selection. Take the select and transparent selection. And select. Again on this. Now, first use the pencil tool and the size broadest and outline this so that when uh, it becomes small. So you can just see this. So do outline carefully.
Okay, okay, okay. So it's the last word and done. So now use the eraser tool to erase the extra part. So go to select transparent selection. Just be a bit of sure that selection and okay, let's try. So when you're gonna do transparent selection, just don't take any element. Now go to A and click go bottom or wherever you want to draw it. Take your color. So I have my color in this. So you can go to edit colors and then choose your color. Had this and now and over here you can change the writing style. So I'm taking oh, okay, okay, this one. Okay, now see, see, no, that's not fine. So I will take this one. B, B, U. Oh, that's also not fine. Let's check out which one will suit us. So see, while the, wor uh, the words are there, the styles are also here. Okay, let's try this thing. Not at all. More stylish. Let's use this one. C, P. Now from here you can uh, you can change the size. So I will just change it only. C and P and U. Head again to A, click, make it back, and write C. Let's click on the buttons. Work is done. Now, how to save? And starting, I told you. So, I want to say this, and this box will come. I want to save it in pictures. I will write this as C P U and go to enter or you can go to save. So you can see this. Now let's do it on full screen. This is our brand new CPU product. That's just an advertisement. Okay. So, I hope you like this uh, video. Like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell icon so that you never miss an update. So, bye bye. See you in the next video. Till then, be safe, be protected. Bye bye.